Hi, it's Larry Lynch, President of the United States Personal Chef Association, joined by Angela Prather. All Things Membership. All Things Membership. And behind the camera today is Rob. He's waving. You just can't tell he's waving. So <laughs> I want to talk about some business fundamentals today. You know, it's interesting, Angela. You know, we both talk to new members on a regular basis. And I think one of the toughest things that people that I find our newest members are challenged with is having a good understanding of their business costs. Yep. And I think a lot of it comes, we all, we all come from working environments where more often than not, we're not responsible for that level of detail. And there's nothing that can impact the new business, I think, more than that. So I'm going to talk just briefly about some of that today. And yeah, some of the just, basics, just to get them started. Absolutely. I, I mentioned a moment ago that Rob is behind the camera, so if you have questions, you know, feel free to shoot them in. He'll wave his arms wildly back there so we know we have a question, and hopefully we'll have an answer. By the way, Dan said hi. He's on Instagram. Well, at least now we know where Dan is because he certainly is not at the office today. So we're always good to, always good to know that. We knew he was someplace. We knew he was somewhere on the planet. But, He's getting but, like Carmen San Diego. Exactly. Where is Dan? Or who's the other one with the right hand? Oh, Wal uh, Waldo. Waldo. Where's Waldo? Where's Dan? Anyhow, let's get back on okay, track. Okay, back on track. Back on Business track. planning basics. So, so there's two real core elements, you know, outside of profit. Profit's the most, you know, obviously the most important part if you take right. it home with you. But there's right. fixed, fixed and variable costs. And, and I think for the, the area that I talk to members, they seem to get stuck the most is the area of fixed cost. And, and what is that? And so you, let's take the very basics. Your USPCA member dues. Fixed costs. Your, member, every year. your customers should be paying for your USPCA member dues. Not out of your for-profit, but rather as part of your cost. So let's, let's just presume at this point you don't know how many customers you have over the course of the year. You might want to just say, you know what, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do X number of pieces of business a month. But you take that annual dues and divide it by 12. And so if you only do one customer a month, you make sure that, that customer is paying one twelfth of your annual dues. Twenty-seven dollars, by the way. Yeah. And if you have <laughs> lots of customers, that number gets smaller. Right, so it gets exactly. Easier but to for one, it's twenty-seven dollars. And so that, that's right, but that becomes a base cost. Now begin to take that through the balance of your business. What's a fixed cost? Something that is ongoing. You carry it. It could be your car. It can be your cookware, it can be your kitchen equipment. Chefware. Chefware, your shoes. shoes. Exactly. Those things that you know you buy one time, it has a certain life to it. It could be a one year like your membership dues. It might be two years for your membership for your coach. Four it years for your tires your, on your, your car. Exactly. It could be five years for your car. But once you make a determination, you do what's called amortize. You figure out what is the useful life of that product and then what is that unit cost? So that if, you know, let's just say you know you're going to have 12 clients a year, you're going to expense your car out over five years. So you divide by five, divide by 12, and you have that number. That's your cost. And that's a fixed cost. That should be in every one of the, of the pieces of business that you touch. And so let's just say for a moment. So I know my car cost is roughly, you know, 12 bucks. And I got lots of clients, so my member dues is a dollar. And I have cookware that I've amortized over the course of a few years, and that's five bucks. You know, so now I'm what, $18, I mm -hmm. think, give or take. And so let's just say there's two or three other things that are there. It could be, um, I don't know, uh, geez, what else could be out there? My chef coat, you know, let's just say overall, my knives. I take a look at my knives. Let's just say once I've divided all this up, my fixed costs are now $25. Every client that I'm going to see over the course of time, has a $25 there. That's your fixed cost on every client. Then you have your variable costs. Well, I'm going to come book. I'm going to go cook for Angela. Angela wants steak. That's Angela right. wants potatoes. So you know what? That's no a variable romaine cost. Lettuce. No romaine lettuce. Well, as long as you don't get it from you, Arizona, you're <laughs> there okay. There you go. <laughs> um, but that variable cost then is the steak. That variable cost is the potato. And you can say, okay, for this particular instance, this is going to cost me this, this is going to cost me that. You know, how much gasoline does it take to get from point A to point B? That's a variable cost. So the variable costs are those things that you just pay for that one time. The food, the gasoline, perhaps it's the tolls. You know, for the, this particular trip, you're going to another part of town to go visit Angie. Yeah, you've to. got a couple tolls. You might have to two, bucks, you might have two bucks in tolls. All those things now become the variable costs. So let's just say I have the $25 in fixed costs. Now I've purchased the steak for Angela, I've purchased the potato for Angela, maybe some vegetables, and so I have another $25 in variable costs. I now know my cost to, to do business for Angela is going to be 50 bucks. Okay, I have to have at least 50 bucks in order to just break even. From there now, I make the determination on how much money I want to make. 
and, and that's up to you, whether it's going to be a, an hourly fee, if it's going to take you six hours, well, is it six times however many hours it takes to get it done? Have you decided it's going to be a fixed cost? I charge every one of my clients 150 bucks, 200 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever it may be. That's going to be based on what you know the sensitivity of your client is, but you want to make sure that you're making enough money to get by over and above that $50 in cost that you have. So that $50 is just saying, that's where I start. Okay, It's got to be more than that, because that more than that is what I take. So I have a question, Larry. So where would your marketing costs fit? Would they be fixed or variable? So my business cards, my brochures, my my Absolutely website, fixed cost. my... Absolutely fixed my cost. Absolutely fixed cost. Advertising. Absolutely because you're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not building a website every time you touch a client. Right. You're not getting business cards every time you touch a client. True. Think of your variable as what you do for that one client only. And, okay. and that's going to be, for that... I'm only buying these things or spending this money for that particular client. That, okay. That's going to change with each client. But any of those things, the business cards, all, they so are the, all so that they don't. So the things that don't change Correct. client to client are going to inevitably be fixed costs. Correct. Whereas, you know, my steak or my potatoes or whether you have tolls or whether they like sous vide or, or however they particularly it's like that, it It's cooked. almost like you think of that one time, that one time you're going to make that, pr that purchase for that particular client, those are your variable costs. Okay. And again, that's why they call it variable, because it changes depending changes. on when you're going to do it. But those business cards, they're for all your clients. All so, those things are across the board. So technically, you should really sit down and really... Your cell phone bill. Fix. You know, use your cell phone, absolutely. True, right. I mean, it really takes, and it's one of the things I know that we're going to begin working on is, you know, what are those kinds of things that are, good, that are, are recognizable fixed costs? You know, some ideas of what variable cost would be in a calculator to figure out, okay, that what is my cost tool. line? Yeah, that would we, be a fantastic out. tool. You know, I don't have. think there's anything we've learned more, and, and as we had this opportunity to talk to so many of our new members, those pain points of trying to figure out my cost, What's cost my structure. Cost, right. yeah. Rob, how are you any questions back here? Not yet. I did have to apologize for anyone that's on Instagram. We had a, uh, a quick glitch. Oh. Phone call came in and it paused everything. <laughs> <laughs> It's recorded. We're back. You can go yeah. back and watch it if you missed. <laughs> Sorry, it. Dan, we went away from. Sorry, it. Dan, we missed you on Instagram. <laughs> so now I, I feel like that's that I hear constantly. If you don't know your cost, then you can't build your profit. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So that's, that's what it sounds like. Well, yeah, it's interesting too because you know a, a lot of members get jazzed. Of course, they get jazzed about by their food. You know, that's the sexy part of the, the well, business. Well, that's what yeah. they're good at. That's the exciting part. They want to come. Uh, and again, Jazz, a little bit about trying to do some marketing. I, I know people, and we'll talk about that more in the future future broadcasts, that people get jazzed about kind of marketing. Oh, I built a website. Okay, now what? Um, it's not know, build I, it and they will come, I that's for sure. <laughs> I'm on business cards. Okay, now what? I have a Facebook page. Okay, now, now what? what? You know, and, and I think that's the other hard part about when you talk about the fundamentals of business is, is that you're more than just a chef at this point. You know, the chef is the end result. You know, you're the salesperson, you're the marketer, you're the business manager, the, you're the CFO, the CEO, the COO you got it all, of your right, own business. Right. And I think that's, but I also talk about with, with a lot of our members, why USPCA membership is so important, because you are out there by yourself. And uh, in your, well, call us, call your fellow <laughs> call members, your fellow get engaged members, in Facebook. Get engaged, your chapters, Absolutely. get engaged in your chapters. You know, I, I think the interesting thing is, we do have the advantage of talking to so many members around the country and through Canada that we recognize that the, the pain points are very common. Yeah, you know, you're not alone. Not really, alone at you're all. not. And not at all. Whether we've seen it or the other members have seen it, there, there are people that have answers to some of these questions. And the idea behind the association is that willingness and that interest in sharing this response. Well, and as I always tell the people I talk to, the members I talk to, no need to reinvent the wheel. I can guarantee you either we as an association have dealt with it or one of the members has dealt with it. So don't be afraid to ask those questions. Absolutely. Really, I mean, and and it's how we come up with with what we talk about is what we're hearing from you and what you need. Um, so this cost, I hear it all the time. I, yep. I just think it is. But it's a great way to call an opportunity for us to build some tools there to help the members out and, and really do something to, to grow the business. Because again, all the rest of the stuff, the cooking's great. You know, you, you come into this business, you have to know how to cook. Well, I love what you say. We're not here to teach you how to cook. You already have to have that skill. Yep. We're here to help you run your business. Exactly. And grow your business. Grow and sustain. Grow and Absolutely. sustain. Absolutely. 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 Well, Larry, I think that's great because I need to learn a few of those differences between fixed and variable. Obviously. Because your did. business cards. I know. You my that business today. cards. I learned my business cards. Or <laughs> and your website. My website. Yeah, and so we'll get to that. We'll talk about some more of those in, the, in some of these upcoming get episodes. Get more in-depth and take it apart. Absolutely. But the big thing is watch for those tools that are up and coming. 
And the other thing I have, I know you want to talk a little bit about a couple membership things. Me too. Is just that reminder that uh, hopefully everybody had a great Father's Day. Um, Robert is still standing there. He ate my dinner last night. He hasn't collapsed yet. Yeah, so I texted Larry, happy Father's Day. I'm cooking. I'm like, well, that's the way I'm of still it. A, I'm still not a threat to our members, though, until <laughs> we'll testify to that. Um, but also a reminder, too, we've got some upcoming holidays. So uh, Fourth of July is right around the corner. Like you know, don't, don't ever forget that. You, know, you can say it's happy birthday. birthday to Angela. You can say happy birthday to me on the Fourth of July. But uh, don't forget, too, that it's an opportunity to be out there and, and sell your services. Great marketing Give opportunity. Gift certificates, you know, all those things that you should be out in front of your clients, your prospective clients, and the community. You know, and I've talked to some of our members. We'll talk about this more in a marketing episode coming up. But, yeah, you know, how you're reaching out to these organizations that can perhaps put you out there as part of a gift certificate program or something and, and uh, introduce Vacation you to the community. Places. Absolutely. There's, there are a lot of alternative ways it's, to do your It's marketing. summertime for those members that don't have lots and lots of clients. Great chance to build that client base this summer. So, Angie, you had a couple things on membership? A couple too? things on membership. Um, waiting to for Mr. Robert to check the mail, and we'll be announcing our June contest winner. Renew early and win, so somebody will be getting next year's membership for free. Within the next um, 24 hours. Well, within the next there. 24 hours, and I'll post that on Facebook, and we'll get that out to the wonderful winner. Um, and for our July renewals, be looking around the first of the month for that letter and renew early and win. Get that renewal in by the 15th of the month, win numerous chances. Mm -hmm. um, the earlier the more. The earlier you get in, the more Our chances you get. Good. That was really bad. Yes, it was. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to bring up, and I have already done this because I am an Amazon Prime member, have been, according to Amazon, for over 10 years long time but they have a great new benefit and I downloaded it to my phone and used it for those of you that shop at Whole Foods or those of you who don't you might want to get over there you do get a discount as a prime member you go to the website um, log in and you can download um, proof of your prime membership to your phone and you just go in and they scan it and you get a discount 10% so is this an app it's not. It's a little card. Like it's not really an app. It's really, a, it's a little card they send you, and you can just. It has a little. What do you call those little squares, Rob? This be great. Barcode. Link. Yeah, little barcode. Be a great um, little link we should put up on our we probably, Facebook. Yeah, we pages. probably should do that. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's yeah. You go in there and it's automatic ten percent off, which you know you shop there a lot it can be significant. Absolutely. Yeah, and it was no hassle. They just scanned my phone and. Boom, and so there we you're go. Humming lettuce and you went home and got no, I did not. No, 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 no. <laughs> Pay attention to all those warnings that Larry sends out. That's all I have to say. Yes. And I don't care if it's from you or a, not a, right a now. A sick chef is not a productive chef. No, we are not. No, not good advertising. No, 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 it is not good advertising if we're ill. Exactly. No. Um, and I just want to remind everybody as, as we just share this information, we're here. Call us, email us, engage in the Facebook group. Uh, we're here, All and tools. so are the other members. Are here. No need to reinvent the wheel. Exactly. You're not alone. And that's you're exactly not alone. You're everybody that's why we exist. So you're exactly. not alone. Exactly. That's all I've got, Larry. So Rob, anything from the hinterlands? No. And if uh, anyone has any any feedback or any questions once this video goes static, I mean, just feel yep. free to leave it'll it be, leave it in the comments below. It'll be posted everywhere. Robert leaves a trail. Yeah. <laughs> so Facebook, Instagram, you name it, it's going to be out there. It will be out there. So. We'll be watching for you, and then with uh, some more stuff on marketing and some other things coming up, we'll see more you next time. More stuff on planning. Everybody Bye. have a great weekend.